Hello my lovelies. So today I'm here to do the I Heart Fall Tag and I'm super excited to do this. Fall is by far my favorite time of the year which I know is like super cliche like hello everyone loves fall. But I'm here to do this tag video for you. I have all the questions on my phone so I'm just going to get into the first questions. My favorite fall lip product is actually a combo. And I have talked about this a ton and I seriously, I am in love with it. I'm wearing it right now and I think everyone needs to check it out. So my favorite lipstick is by MAC and it's the Viva Glam 6 lipstick and it's so gorgeous. To me this is like fall in a lipstick. And it looks just like this and it's kind of like a berry reddish color I would say. And this is a lot darker than any lipstick I would normally wear. It's a little bit outside my comfort zone, and I guess that's kind of why I like it. It's I'm like stepping outside my box, if you know what I mean. And then over the top, I am pairing this Sophia Lip Gloss by Skylar, or Ellen Blair Fowler's makeup line. And like I said, it's in the color Sophia, and it's super pretty. It's just kind of like a maroon pinky color with like a tiny bit of shimmer in it. And I really like these because they're not sticky, and they last a super long time. So this is my fall lip favorite. My favorite fall nail polish, hands down, is from the OPI Germany collection, and it is Every Month is Oktoberfest. And what I love about this is it looks almost orange when you first look at it, like a super dark orange, but it's actually like a purpley red, and it's kind of metallic. A lot of people think it looks black, but I definitely don't. I think it's just like a perfect, like, metallic orangey purpley red color, which are like my favorite colors for fall. So I would definitely check this out. And like I said, this is from the OPI Germany collection. My favorite drink from Starbucks. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys I hate Starbucks. I don't like their coffee at all. I think it's honestly gross. So I'm just going to substitute it with my favorite drink. My favorite coffee place is Moxie Java. And I honestly kind of get the same thing all the time I go there. But in the summertime, I get iced coffees. And now that it's getting cooler, I'm getting like hot coffees. So I get a sugar-free vanilla caramel mocha and I typically get an extra shot of caramel syrup. So a mocha is basically just a latte made with chocolate milk. So it's super good. I'm addicted to them. There was a point where I seriously got one like every single day like in the summer when they were iced. So I'm trying to like break my addiction and not get them as much. I actually just had one so I'm kind of like vibrating right now because of all the caffeine. So definitely go check that out. My favorite fall candle. Okay, it's gonna be a cliche, you guys, I know. The Leaves Candle by Bath & Body Works. I, seriously, I would burn this all year long if I could, like if they had it all year long. Oh, I just love this. And I like the Slatkin & Co. ones so much better than the White Barn. I have a couple of the, like, not minis, but the ones that are like smaller than this of the leaves and in the White Barn form, and I hate them. They don't burn nice. They hardly throw any scent. So I'm definitely a fan of the Slatkin & Co. So if you can get your hands on this still, I definitely would. The Bath & Body Works candles are two for 20 right now, just for this weekend. So I actually just went and picked up two, and that's why I got this one, because they have the Slatkin & Co. in the three-wick one. So by far, my favorite candle. The scent description of it is, celebrate the brilliant colors of autumn with this rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and berries. To me, it smells kind of like cinnamon and apple cider, and it's amazing. Definitely check this candle out. And look, I got this adorable little sleeve to put it in. Isn't that cute? My favorite fall accessory slash scarf, I picked both. My first one is this necklace, which is obviously my accessory, and it's just a plain chain rose gold necklace. These are super on trend right now, and mine's pretty long. It comes down to, oh, I don't know, like right below my tatas, and I just love it. I got it Forever 21. It was honestly like five bucks, I think. They have a million different like styles of these, like long, short, thicker chained, so I have been loving this necklace, and it just goes with everything. That's, I guess, what I love the most about it. And then my favorite scarf. Okay, so this might be a little summery, but I think this scarf is, like, the most amazing scarf ever. Okay, so it is this yellow scarf, and it has zebras all over it. Like, how funny is that, you guys? When I wore this when I went to the Mall of America not too long ago with my mom, I got, like, tons of compliments on it. And I don't know if they were complimenting me because, like, it's a weird scarf or just because they actually liked it. But I don't really care. I love it. I think it's so funny, and it just, it seriously, like, spruces up, like, any outfit. Like, I just wore it with, like, a white t-shirt, and I just love it. And it's super, super long. And I got it from a website called Karma Loop, which I will link below. Another 
one of my favorite accessories I just wanted to throw in quick are my Steve Madden boots. I got these at DSW Shoe Warehouse. They are just like, I don't know, like faux leather, almost riding boots, but not quite tall enough to be riding boots, boots, if that makes any sense. They're just flat, look like this. I love them. I want to get them in black too, but I'm like, Taylor, do you really need the same pair of boots in black? So I'm kind of trying to restrain myself. Haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze? Uh, can I pick D? None of the above. I hate haunted things like that. In my town, we have the haunted corn maze, acres of terror, and I think it's called like the haunted school or something. I've been to none of them because I hate things like that. I hate getting scared. I hate like people jumping out and touching me. I don't like it at all. The closest thing to scary I get is scary movies, and some of those are even too scary for me. Like my boyfriend tried to get me to watch, I think the movie was called Insidious the other day, and I made him shut it off after like a half an hour because I was so freaked out. But I am excited to see Paranormal Activity 4, even though those movies like scare the bejeebies out of me, like, oh, I hate them. But I am excited to see that. So my answer is D, none of the above. My favorite Halloween movie, okay, I know, another cliche, is Hocus Pocus. I love that movie. I actually was going to buy it the other day at Target, but then I decided, I'm like, that movie is not as good if you like, like, if I could just watch it anytime, it wouldn't be as good. I like to watch it like when I turn on the TV I'm like oh my gosh Hocus Pocus is on and I get really excited I feel like if I like had it like if I owned it and could watch it all the time it wouldn't be as good Another movie that I do love around Halloween time though is Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2 I don't I only like the first two not any of the three or 3ds or whatever else they have out now Favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Reese's peanut butter cups by far I actually don't have one to hold up so I will like insert a picture of it here But I just love these. For some reason around Halloween time, they are my favorite thing to eat. Another thing that I definitely love to eat around Halloween time. I don't know why I don't like to eat it as much like throughout the rest of the year, but it's Kit Kat bars. And I actually have a huge bag of them over at my boyfriend's house right now, which he has been munching on. But I got a bag of minis and I have been snacking on those. So I am not dressing up for Halloween. I actually didn't dress up last year either because costumes are really expensive, you guys. Like, I like to get, like, the Leg Avenue or, like, the Playboy Bunny ones or whatever that you go to, like, a Halloween store and get them, and they're really expensive. They normally cost around $100, and I don't really have a Halloween party to go to. Halloween's on a Wednesday, and I just don't really have the money to dress up, so I decided I'm not going to dress up this year. Me and my roommates, I'll probably, like, stay here and, like, watch Hocus Pocus or something. My favorite thing about fall, definitely wearing layers and like sweaters and boots, the color cranberry, the leaves candle, the leaves changing, like the pretty red, orange, yellow leaves, the crisper, cooler air, scarves, hats, basically everything I love about fall. The only thing I do not like about fall, where I'm from, there are yellow jacket bees which are like the scariest thing ever and if you guys have seen my fall inspired makeup tutorial it was a contest entry you can see me at the end like running like a psychopath from a bee because I'm like terrified of them and the other thing I don't like is it is super super windy here this time of year like I don't even know why I bother doing my hair because by the time I like get done like walking from my apartment building to my car my hair is like all over the place and like sticking up and stuck to my lip gloss and it's ridiculous. So I thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to leave a video response or a comment below with your fall favorites. I will link all the questions in the down bar in case you guys want to do it. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because then I will love you forever. So once again, I thank you so much for watching and hope you have an awesome day or night. Bye.